Hey guys, it's Ben now, and welcome back to Strife. Uh, in the last part, we uh, went into a place, we stabbed a bunch of people, shot stuff with crossbows, and then we stole some guys' lunch money. And in this part, we're gonna free some prisoners. But first, let's check around this front base bit. Now, there's a there's a bit of stuff that you can see. You can go in here, and this guy's all like, "Don't get trigger happy." Look at those computers. That's high tech right here. <laughs> like. <laughs> This game came out in 1996, and it definitely looked dated even then, because, like, Quake came out the same year, and... Ooh. Hello. So, yeah. You can also head into here, where there's arms training, but, like... You don't really get anything. Like, it doesn't really do anything. Uh... And you can also go to the medic here, and he will heal you... Except for the fact that I look fine, despite the fact that I'm only on 54 health. Sure, okay, I'll take it. Um, so yeah. Now there's one thing that you can do that will be pretty neat in the future, and that is if you head down over here, you'll notice that there's a lift, and in proper Doom fashion, if you stand on it, it goes down, like just standing there. And you'll head down here and you'll be like, oh, look at all this cool stuff, look at this water, I can splash around in it. I can talk to this guy. He's like, look at these barrels. You can head over here. And, uh, I believe that they are, like, there you go, some bullets. Which, we can't shoot any just right now, but don't worry, in a, in a little bit we will. Uh, but the real secret down here is if you walk directly into this wall, there's actually... Hold on. Yeah, there's actually a nice secret down here, and you'll notice there is an achievement on the Steam version, uh, that encourages you to find these secrets. Now, some of these secrets are not in the original version. In fact, the, the Veterans Edition fixes a lot of problems that were in the original version, and, and also provides the original version as well. So you can have fun with that. But, uh, anyway, I guess- Diwali is the front fixer. He's behind the unmarked door next to the weapons shop. Okay, so anyway, so we'll go ahead off to, over to there uh, before we head into the prison. So anyway, in proper Doom fashion, you go, Woo! you run really fast. Whoa. So anyway, so the weapon shop is here, and you can go into the weapon shop and buy ammo. But, the secret door is here in the back, which is normally locked until now. And in here, you can go to this guy, and you can immediately buy an assault gun. Okay, a rifle. Now you may notice, uh, that... There's no crosshair, and in, and again, proper Doom fashion, uh, you uh, just kind of aim down the center of the screen and hope for the best. In this game, accuracy sucks. Like, it really sucks. So anyway, so this is the power station. We're not going to the power station, we are going to the prison. So, I believe we are going up here to the prison, yeah. No. No, we are going to the power station. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Wait. Governor. All I know about the governor is he's playing both ends towards the middle. Here's his so-called mansion. Sorry, I'm just going to put that away so I don't accidentally, like, shoot someone. So anyway, so this guy right here is just like, no one's allowed in here. And you can't activate that door. Uh, there are some nice little health kits here, which is neat. Yeah, I do have an appointment. <laughs> sure, okay. Look at this slightly roundish elevator. It's beautiful. Now here's something neat. This guy's like, no one's allowed in here. And you're going, what? But it's the governor's room. And what he's really referring to is this beautiful secret right here, which you can squeeze yourself in. And that's another secret, which is neat. And you can get yourself a lot of cash. Now there's technically 18 secrets, but the achievement only asks for 16. I'll be showing all those off, don't you worry. So let's hear talk to this guy. First they slaughter thousands. Now they want all able-bodied peasants for unspecified tests. How does the order expect me to keep the peace? What the hell do you want? I like oh, you I'm already. I have two chores that I don't want to do myself. One is messy, the other bloody. Uh this one, one of my minions is stealing power with a tap on the main somewhere. Find it and truncate his supply, and I'll provide you with what you want. Bring me something as a token. 
If I knew, it wouldn't be a chore now, would it? Use your charm, but shut off his supply. Bloated pig. I know nothing about this so-called power coupling, so let's go slow. Okay. If I knew, it... So anyway, so we'll get... ...to someone who knows the old town and where this coupling is. The man says find MacGuffin. Okay. He's in what is politely called the bum hole. Take the walkway by the sewage plant and head down the stairs. Take your time with this mission. I can't get intel on this from command. Man, all the talking, you know? So anyway, so MacGuffin's down here, you and he's like... You oh. seek wisdom, my son. The order is seen to it that we ask only one question. Why? If you say it's illegal, I want nothing to do with you. I have enough trouble as it is. Release oh. me. Leave it. <laughs> Alright, so you can say one of three things. I believe the second one actually gives away the fact that they're stealing the power rather than it's their tap. They're actually stealing it from the rebels. But if you hit the switch, you'll head down here and you'll notice that you can open this and you'll find this beautiful thing right here. But you don't want to destroy it. What you really want to do is head down here and you'll Good notice. Move. The governor is a lousy liar. That's our power coupling. Now let's get that path. So yeah, so if you do break that one power coupling, I believe some enemies will start spawning just casually around. Uh yeah, yeah, look, we're right here. Totally. Um. Uh. Get going. This guy, this guy just still says that. But, uh, yeah. Now, of course, if you keep going, you'll find that bad power coupling. And, uh, yeah. Pretty much. Anyway, so we'll head back to the governor and we'll see what he says now that we've, uh, c cut off, uh, fixed the power supply. Hmm, yeah, um, hmm. Oh, I just love souvenirs. Here, this will get you into the prison. Talk to Warden Montag. Whatever you do after that, I don't want to know. Okay. So anyway, so now we got to pass the prison. And now we can go in to the prison. 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 Uh, the prison is, I believe, I up never thought here. I'd be breaking into prison. So yeah. So we'll just kind of walk right in. This door's open. And we can just... Go in. Now... Again, when I mentioned uh, in the last part that this game has stealth elements, you still can't stealth this part. Down on these servants until they beg for death. What an up guy. Okay. Um, no one gets through here without authorization from the warden or the governor. Okay, but talk only to the warden. What a grouch. I hope we get to kill him later. Uh, sure, I guess. So, yeah, so we got the pass, we can walk right in, and this guy's all just like, keep moving. Now, we don't have a key to actually get in, we just have the pass. So, what we have to do is talk to the warden and go like, yo, you wanna let us in? I don't care if Morel gave you a pass. This is my prison. My key is the only way in or out, and I'm not taking any chances. The order does not tolerate mistakes. Now, you can't just ask for the pass, but... I like stabbing him a little bit before because with the silent knife, no one knows right away. Now, of course, you can go down here, but you'll trigger an alarm to basically use the machine gun. I will hop down there to get the health kit, so. Uh, of course, if you did buy the machine gun earlier, then yeah, good for you. But uh, you can basically steal one there. And the only problem is you still have to hit an alarm. So there's basically no point in buying the machine gun like that early because, like, really, I haven't used it yet. So anyway. Guess there's no free lunch. Let's use the gun. Now the thing with the gun is that it's kind of semi-auto. You click once and it'll fire three times. Now what you want to do is kind of ignore the spider things. Because they don't attack from a distance. But they'll sometimes get in your way. And it's kind of annoying. Uh, so yeah. With the gun, what you want to do is that you want to just kind of click once and it'll fire three bullets. Quite straightforward. You don't want to attack from a huge distance because it... It actually hits in a very, like, inaccurate spread. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll just keep going around this, uh, area. Oh, hello, Mr. Man. Yeah. That'll show him. Uh, yeah. You'll see all these doors and they kind of close off and it's a bit, like, strange. Uh, oh. 
keep shooting a bit. More guys. You also see that floating kind of orb thing, and that thing does shoot lasers at you. It's not the best thing to get hit by, trust me. I would know. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's one of them. But of course, bullets still work quite effectively, despite the fact that they are robots. And uh, I think we can't get to it right now, because we don't, actually we do. Uh, with, the, with the crossbow, if you hit the button again, you'll get poison darts. And the poison darts are great, because they actually kill human guys, or at least the order, in uh, one hit, which is pretty neat. Uh, you can also keep going around, and you'll basically make it to the other side of this starting area. And I notice that there's stuff on the wall here. But uh, your real goal is to just kind of get up here so you can head down the lift. Now, there's a few more guys. There's also turrets, which are kind of annoying. You see, I just shot, shot it out. I'm trying to be a bit careful because you can shoot through these, like, things. And actually hit the guys on the other end, which is not the best thing in the world, trust me. Uh, so yeah, so we'll keep going around. Shoot, 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 shoot. And I like this game. Okay, you please the governor, flatter the warden. Now it looks like we're gonna have to do surgery. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, the blackbird sounds really kind of sadistic at times. It's a bit scary, you know. So if we head into here, we don't have the handprint. So what we gotta do is find the handprint. How do we get a handprint? We'll see. But uh, a lot of enemies. And what's really annoying is these kind of corners. There's a bit of ammo in the first few. But there's kind of invisible guys hiding in the other ones. What jerks. So yeah. Now if you head over here, uh, you'll head around the back and that's actually a key or not a key but a switch basically and uh what well, I believe that opens a room here oh no no sorry it's back it's it's, it's back sorry but uh trigger it like that and we'll get up there so this guy's I all like I don't know how you managed to get past the guards and the warden but I hope you like the decor because you just moved in. What the? Kill me and you'll never set anyone free. I possess the only button key that will unlock the cells. And then, here's a 90s pun. Move along. And you can kill him and he drops his hand. Okay. He's got a nice bed, you know, look at that. Oh, you cut off his hand. And I thought you were a nice guy. Kinda. Let's go. Okay. So anyway, so yeah, hitting the switch back there opens this up. Which counts as a secret. And you get a lot of nice stuff, which is pretty neat. Uh, now you can hit that, and I'll open this door. And put the hand on all the buttons. And you win! Way to go, my friend. Jump on the teleporter and we'll bring you back to base. Uh, unfortunately, Weird 90s level design doesn't exactly tell you where the teleporter is and it's all the way back like here especially because enemies keep spawning in places like they're in the, the prison rooms themselves now I can safely say there's no hidden goodies like in the cells but there's some stuff just here and oh my gosh just yeah, let's ignore that guy get out of the way get out of the way ah. this guy's here this guy's here yeah just into the teleporter Hello everybody, I'm home. Surprisingly they've got a teleporter here. It's a bit weird, okay. But uh, we'll talk to Mesa again. The prisoners have been welcomed back, thanks to you. Here's some gold. Go visit the medic and the weapons trainer, and then I have higher goals for you. Okay. A single crystal runs the power grid, which drives the Order's shields. Destroy that crystal and you will punch huge holes in the Order's defenses. Blackbird will lead you to a spy who has a way in. Good luck. Warner is a spy we recruited in the warehouse of the power station. Okay. So yeah. So anyway, I guess with that, uh, you've seen some cool stuff. But uh, in the next part, we'll get around to actually stealthing. And you'll see how all 
the stealth is. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. See you guys later. Bye bye.